Monolith architecture is often considered the foundation of system design. Despite the evolution of various modern and modular architectures like microservices, monolith architecture is still relevant and effective for certain applications. Also, many old applications are still using it and waiting to be changed to a new modular architecture. Therefore, it is essential for us to understand what monolithic architecture is, why it is used, what its characteristics are, what its advantages and disadvantages are. In this video, we will discuss all of this along with real life example of monolithic architecture. What is monolithic architecture? In monolithic architecture, all components of software such as user interface, business logic, data access code, and database operations are mingled and managed as a single code base. This architecture is simple and straightforward, especially for small scale applications. For example, a web application can be considered of monolithic architecture if all front end, back end, and data storage is written together in a single code base and deployed together. It might be possible that there are different processes involved in it, like a separate process for database and web server. Also, front end will be accessed using a browser, but still it will be considered as a monolithic architecture because all of its components are interconnected and managed as a single code base and deployed together. Take an example of one of the most used content management system in the industry, WordPress. WordPress is implemented using monolithic architecture. All of its core functionality for managing content, user authentication, themes and plugins are tightly integrated into a single code base. When you use WordPress, you typically download and install one single package and all of its components are interconnected and work together seamlessly. This proves that monolithic architecture is still widely used and suits a specific type of environment and requirement. Example of an application using monolithic architecture. Let's consider a hospital management system designed as a monolithic web application. This hospital management system application encompasses various functionalities like patient registration, appointment scheduling, report generation for internal and external users, inventory management, billing, staff management, medical record keeping, etc. In this monolithic design, the entire hospital management system is a single invisible unit. All functionalities like patient registration, appointment scheduling, report generation, and all the other functionalities are tightly integrated into one system. They share the same database, user interface, and server-side logic. The code for all these functionalities is interconnected and managed as a single code base. If you want to deploy this application, then you need to deploy it as a single entity. You cannot upgrade a single functionality, but the whole application needs to be upgraded in a single go. Characteristics of monolithic architecture. Let's look at some of the characteristics of monolithic architecture. First, single process execution. In a monolithic, all software components operate within a single process. They lack the distribution means components share threads, memory, and compute resources. All of this functions as a large code base. It might be possible that the database runs as a separate process, but all business functionality or components will run inside a single process. Second, strong coupling. In monolithics, there are tightly coupled classes and components. They lack separation through networks or standard APIs, leading to a high degree of interdependence. Third, standalone. Typically, monolithic applications are standalone, not designed to interact with each other or not designed to interact with other applications. They don't offer component specific external APIs or functionalities for integration. 
they often operate in isolation. Now let's look at some of the advantages of monolithic architecture. First, simplicity in development and deployment. Monolithics eliminate the need for complex network setups, cross-process communications and distributed debugging. This simplicity can make development and maintenance more straightforward. For developers, understanding and developing within a single code base can be simpler than dealing with multiple services. Second, deployment speed. Initially, deployment can be faster as developers do not need to deal with the complexities of distributed systems. Third, easier initial testing and debugging. Testing a monolithic can be more straightforward because there is no inter-service communications to consider. Debugging is also easier as developers can trace issues in a single unified environment. Fourth, integrated data management. With a shared database, managing data can be seamless, reducing the complexity of data synchronization across different modules. Disadvantages of monolithic architecture. Despite having such advantages, monolithic architectures are not as popular as modern architectures are. What could be the reason? Well, there are many disadvantages associated with monolithic architecture that leads architects to lean towards modern architectures instead of monolithic one. Let's look at some of the disadvantages of monolithic architecture. First, uniform technology and difficulty in adopting new technologies. In monolithic system, you have to use the same technology for the entire application. Imagine a hospital management app built this way with Node.js. If you need to do something better suited for a different technology like .NET, you cannot easily integrate it because everything is tightly connected. To upgrade the technology, you have to change the whole app, which takes a long time and lots of testing. This means because monolithic systems insist on using the same technology for everything, it is difficult to upgrade to new technologies or different technologies. Second, deployment difficulties. In monolithic architecture, deploying the application means deploying the whole thing, even for small updates, which is inefficient. Testing becomes difficult as changes can cause unexpected issues throughout the interconnected components. Imagine our hospital management system built in this way. If we want to add multiple phone numbers to a single patient, it affects many parts of the system, including the database. This means extensive testing of the entire system for a seemingly small change. Monolithic architecture makes updates complex and time-consuming, limiting efficiency and flexibility. Third, scalability issues and inefficient resource usage. Monolithic architectures lack the ability to allocate resources to a specific component, leading to overall inefficiency. As the product grows, scaling individual functionalities become problematic. For instance, in a hospital management app, if the report generation module needs more power during peak times, you can't easily allocate resources to just that part. You have to boost the resources for the entire application. This results in over-resourcing some parts and under-resourcing others. Even after adding more resources, there is no guarantee that the needy component gets what it requires because other parts might use more than necessary. This inefficiency hampers performance optimization and efficient scaling. Fourth, maintenance challenges over time. Monolithic application code can become complex and interconnected, making it difficult for new developers to understand and maintain. Changes in one part can affect others. 
for example if a developer wants to use a new java feature they cannot just update their module they must upgrade the entire app requiring extensive testing and effort this complexity possesses challenges for developers in monolithic systems fifth longer development cycles introducing new features in monolithic applications takes longer due to their intricate interconnected database for example adding online appointment scheduling to a hospital management system with monolithic architecture affects various parts of the application requiring careful handling to prevent issues extensive testing is necessary since changes in one area can impact the entire system delaying features deployment and potentially causing disruptions in existing functionalities like billing longer development cycles in monolithic systems result from component interdependencies making it challenging to introduce and test new features promptly which can hinder adaptability to change let's summarize it while monolithic architecture has its benefits especially in terms of simplicity and initial development speed it also has significant drawbacks in scalability and maintenance it's ideal for small simple applications but can become problematic as the application grows understanding these trade offs of monolithic architecture is crucial for making informed decisions in software architecture